Hey guys, thanks so much for coming over to watch another video. This is Alan with Mastermind Handyman. And today guys, what I'm going to be doing is painting this entire woman's locker room. All right, so before we begin guys, I'm going to walk you through really quick the things that you're going to need to get this done. And this is within budget, you know, nothing fancy. So here you have your paint bucket, right? To hold it with your hand when you're using your brush. Very important when you're doing all your cuttings or your edges, certain spots. Um, optional, you might need this small uh, roll here for, you know, typically for the door framing and uh, small spots where the big brush cannot get into. You have these other one here too in case it becomes useful right so for certain areas as well so you have small spots something a little bigger so you know instead of doing three or four rolls on this you might just need to do one of this and of course you have your typical roll there for you know the main walls basically and of course we have two brushes I have something smaller than the other for many reasons. There might be spots where the smaller one would be more suitable than the big one. First thing that I recommend you do is go ahead and lay down this wherever you're gonna work out. So for example, I'll go ahead and lay it over here, like I said, and start getting this wall done, considering that it's open, there's not much cutting to do, so you might just wanna knock that out, right? So just spread it down all over the floor, make sure you cover everything entirely. And then as you move down, just go ahead and move it along. So wherever you're working at, you wanna go ahead and lay this down. So that would be your first step. The second step, which is almost the same thing, you can do the, the tape first and then this second, or lay this down and then do the tape, whatever works for you. But then of course, I'll go ahead and start taping everything around and I'll show you uh, once I'm done doing that, what it looks like. And then the third step, I'll go ahead and begin with either cutting in or rolling in. So. The way I always like to do it is to do all the rolling first, just to kind of get that out of the way. And then I can go back with the brush and start cutting everything in so that I know what needs to be cut. So as you can see here, guys, as an example, I was able to lay down that blanket, tart, whatever, um, on the floor, covering all the tiles, right? And then I'll go ahead and start rolling in now what I like to do is I'm gonna start prepping everything with tape. Um, I'm gonna lay a few more of this around. I brought like three or four. So I'm gonna start laying them all around this room in the different areas I'm gonna be working at. And then I'm gonna go around and start prepping everything with the tape. So I'll show you that in a moment. Something to mention really quick guys that's very important is that when you open your um, paint, don't just start painting the way it is, especially after sitting for several hours or maybe days and so very important that when you open it you go ahead and take the time to you know blend it in a little bit as you can see here you know just nicely until that color starts to blend and comes together so let me show you a great example of what i mean by prepping your area with the blue tape so as you can see i have it all around the edges and all around the door even on that side as you can see another great thing why about cutting it with the tape is great and prepping it this way is because perhaps you have lines like this as you can see when you align your tape evenly the way you want it to be as you can see here how i'm showing that up there right you can see that that gap there for example versus as i come down you do not is so that when I paint it, everything blends in nicely. So it's very important that you do that. Let me show you another great example when you're using the tape, why it's important. Now you can see that the purple here from the existing painter got on here. So of course, I'll scrape that in and then I'll put my tape down evenly and straight so that I'm able to create that perfect line with the new paint all down the door. Another thing too, uh, for an even roll, you wanna go ahead and start rolling in, right? And then once you do that, go ahead and move it to the other side and then evenly filling the 
gaps as you can see here and then move it down to the other spot here and then of course you know go right all the way down go right all the way down okay guys so as you can see um, how I'm able to cut around with the tape and then just run through with the brush and he basically helps because you can just run through it you can see all around the doors where the tile is at the end and obviously once it dries we remove the tape and that's it you're good to go now guys if you're asking yourself what's the best way to cut in without making a mess and of course you know when you cut in you have the top right all along and as you can see, it will dry eventually where it just blends in, as you can see, all along, which is perfect, obviously. You know, difficult spots would be obviously the top there. And then when you do cutting through the lights like this in this example, and then the mirrors. So, for example, wet your brush, but not enough where it's dripping, but just enough where there's paint. And then basically in this example... Yes, you can put the tape around here and then just run with it. Yes, you can do that. But considering how, how tight that spot is, it's hard to use the tape. I mean, I'd rather just not do it. So I'll just go ahead and basically start cutting. So, for example, I'll position the brush like this and then slowly kind of squeeze it in and just go down, basically. Squeeze it and just keep going down as far as you can. And how do you know when to stop is when you continue and then it, there is really no more pain to fill in that spot. So I'll go ahead and pick it up up here, the same thing. And this is kind of like the first step. I just run down like this, and then it just connects, you see, with each other. Done. And then the last thing that I always like to do is go over it one more time, just to kind of pick up little spots like that, as you can see. And then just basically put the brush sideways like this, and then just go down evenly, so as you can see, is connecting that cut with this side here. And then the last step, just kind of blend the two here like this, basically. And when you let it dry, the two will match. Same thing when you're doing this cut in here, go ahead and you know wet your brush just a little bit, just dip it just a little bit, right? Squeeze that out of there, but just enough so that it's not dripping off the brush, basically. Come over here and the same thing. So I'll go ahead and Obviously, we're painting this entire thing just because we're replacing that purple. So in this example, there's really no need to be careful, right? You just cut it in. You just get it. But the same, the same method. If I'm going to cut this here like this, I can remove this cover, but I'm not going to. So just cut it in like that carefully. Right, just enough where you find that, that smooth line as you come down, just keep going, keep going, let it go, right? Keep going, you gotta connect it up there, as you can see, keep going, let it go. And then you can see that slowly, that starts to blend in, see? I didn't even touch the outlet cover. So that's a great example on doing that. Now, if you notice what I did here, different um, when you use the tape and you have it nicely cut in like this, you prepped it, then it's different, I can just run with it, basically, see? I just run with it, and then I connect the sideways. Remember, you always use the sideways to connect it with the two walls, and then you use it like this to kind of get inside the gaps there, right? Just like that. Then just kind of blend it in together. And this would be kind of like the last step. You go like this flat, so that what you're painting on the left here, where the cut is, blends with what you did with the roll basically so go along keep doing it and go all around and cut it in slowly you first want to cut it in with the brush then you want to brush it through left to right and then you connect it by doing what i just showed you which is the last step all right guys so let me show you something really quick when you use the tape uh why it really helps uh, especially creating a perfect line. So watch this. I'm going to remove the tape. It's been about an hour, right? Over here, same thing. Always when you pull the tape, pull it towards you. So that way, you know, it doesn't really rip. So go ahead and just keep going. And the faster you go, 
towards you. And there you go. Ready to go. So there it is, guys. You know, slowly but surely, starts to dry up. Remove your tape. And then everything would just blend in nicely all around the mirror as well, right? These doors, like it never happened. You can see that, even the cut on the lights. You can see that it came out really nice. I mean, the cutting really is the part that takes the longest, really. This is all fresh. I'm letting it dry, and then I'll remove the tape out of there. As you can see around the doors, all across. And, you know, the cutting and the lines is really where, where you got to take your time to cut it perfectly. There you have it. Thanks so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. There's going to be a lot more videos coming.